Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and here we are with another Twinmotion new release video showing you some of the coolest features of Twinmotion 2025.1. Now right out of the box, one of my huge favorite new features is the big improvements to dynamic skies and also things like the volumetric clouds. So let's take a look at how this works. As you can see, I'm using the lake house, which is a really nice sample file that Twinmotion give us to play around with. Um, it's a really nice little model with a great bit of architecture and some nice landscape. So you can see that at the moment, the sky looks a little bit bland. So right out of the box, I'm going to choose the default sky and we're just gonna scroll down to the settings might play around with the lighting a little bit to change that time of day so we can see the effect there. And you can also, if you want to, change, of course, the north offset. But the real detail comes in once you start to introduce clouds. Now, we had 2D clouds already in the previous settings for weather, and they kind of looked okay. But wait until you see the new volumetric clouds. So to enable those, just click onto the button, and you can see that with the volumetric clouds, they really are way more realistic. One of the big benefits, of course, is they will reflect in things like the water and the glass and the HDRIs as well. Okay, so here's a couple of save views that I've already got in Twinmotion down in my media doc. And you can see that I'm just gonna play around with those volumetric clouds a little bit and just sort of get a feel for kind of like the different options that you can do here. So if you scroll down under the appearance, you'll see that you have uh, the ability to scale them. You can also play around with things like the vertical extent as well, so the height of those clouds, how flat bottom they have, and also things like the puffiness and the density. As well as this, you can introduce uh, the cirrus clouds, you know, those fine clouds that you see in the distance as well. And of course, you can even do things like change the color as well. So, you know, I never really thought about clouds in this way, but there's so many different settings that you can operate with Twinmotion now. These new clouds look absolutely amazing in my view. Now, one of the really nice things also on the Dynamic Skies is we have sort of preset settings, if you like. So with those, you can actually introduce sort of presets and you'll notice that you also have a clouds preset that you can click on as well if you do want to. So the great thing about all these cloud settings is once you get something that you're very happy with, you can save those settings and reuse them again and again on different projects. So, you know, Twinmotion looks amazing um, in the viewport, as you know, but now with these view volumetric clouds, it does make a huge difference. I've always loved the way that you can just change the time of day so realistically and get a feel for the architecture and the kind of design um, aspect here. It's integration with its sort of environment and nature. But now, you know, with these new clouds, I really think this is going to bring uh, in motion another huge step forward as well. Now, here we can see I've got a really nice environment preset for a rainy day. Um, the rain's falling, you can see those beautiful kind of splashes on the water there. We've got this like overcast look with those sort of clouds in the distance. And I think you'll agree this is pretty phenomenal for real time. So definitely recommend you have a good play with the dynamic skies and particularly the new volumetric clouds. I'll be doing a much more detailed dig into this um, when I've got the time, but really it was just a quick overview just to highlight this feature for you and show you some of those main functions. Okay, so next up, I do want to talk about um, a couple of other aspects of the um, ambience and clouds as well. So let's just pan back and get a rather nice view of this little island here with this lovely lake house here. And you can see that looking at twin motion in full screen is super good fun. And it's something that you can use to kind of express your designs to your clients as well. Okay, so once again, let's go on to those dynamic skies. I'm just going to play around with that lighting one more time. This time I'm actually going to change the north angle. This obviously is a big bonus if you don't want to rotate your model. And finally, I'm going to go down and just access a few of the different options for those defaults. So you can see we've got the kind of sunny one. We've got this nice golden hour one, which looks really, really cool. You know, the kind of sun setting, those lovely puffy clouds in the background. Um, the rainy one I've just showed you a minute ago, which is a fun one. And obviously you could set up new ones for things like cloudy and misty skies as well. Um, the Mars Horizon one is an interesting one. Maybe that will be applicable uh, in a few years when we kind of start getting to Mars. And, you know, these ideas that you can set up these environmental presets to suit the look and feel of your projects is just phenomenal. 
So I really recommend playing around with the clouds. As I say, the 2D cloud settings are fairly basic these days compared to the volumetric settings. So once you've had a little fiddle and have exhausted what you do there with those 2D clouds, make sure you check out the volumetric clouds instead. Um, the amount of control that you have over these, as I said before, is phenomenal. So do play around with things like the scale of those clouds. You know, look at the way it's reflecting in the water immediately. I'm rendering, by the way, uh, using Lumen at the moment. So it's not path tracing, but it is very, very realistic and real time all the, all the same. Um, I do really like the way that you have all the fine controls from zero to 100% on all of these different sliders. And things like the density obviously is a really important one to introduce sort of how dense those clouds are. Okay, so let's just hop into twin motion again. And this time I want to focus with, I've made a really nice kind of like snowy environment. You can see it's quite an overcast day. We've got some nice sort of sunlight reflecting on those windows. But you'll see the snow is very, very realistic these days in twin motion. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to the channel, please have a look at my members section. I'd be love it if you were to join and support the channel. It's a really great way to express your support for Jonathan Reeves CAD, and it really encourages me to make lots more videos for you. Now do reach out for professional teaching and training. I've been using Twinmotion for a number of years now and teaching it at a very high level. I've also written a book on Twinmotion as well, if you're interested. So reach out for training and I will give you a free copy of that Twin Motion book for this wonderful software. So take care everybody, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.